happening now. The final candidates for APS superintendent answering your questions. Action 7 News reporter Andres Valle is here with some of the questions they have answered so far. Hey, Doug Shelley, right now, Dr. Gabriela, Gabriela Duran Blakey and Dr. Thomas Ahar are taking questions from APS teachers, and one huge concern from them is keeping teachers in the district. I loved my students, and that never changed, and that will never change. Um, it was the system that was inefficient and was not supporting me in my endeavors. Anastasia Thurgood Cordova is a former teacher from El Dorado High School. She's here in this auditorium, just like many other Albuquerque public school employees and community members to hear what the two superintendent finalists would change about the district that she chose to leave. Dr. Gabriela Duran Blakey, the current chief operations officer for the district, promising this. So that means investing into our staff to rally around kids and creating the environments in which they will succeed. My work is dedicated to students. That's why I'm in this field of education, but I can't jump over the adults to get to the students. We have to invest in the adults to get to the students. Dr. Thomas Ahart, a former superintendent from Iowa, saying he's had success in retaining his staff during his tenure. I'm really proud of this number. We were able to increase the five-year retention rate of new teachers to 95%. School safety, especially regarding gun violence, also top of mind. And they want to feel at home in our schools. And um, unfortunately, much of what uh, actions that we take as adults um, don't always make them feel safe. Um, so I'm not sure that, that um, metal detectors are part of the solution. The first thing is acknowledging that we have a gun violence issue. Um, in our community. The answers to these questions could bring teachers like Anastasia back to the district. And I just want people to know that they need to advocate for their kids because their kids deserve better. And people like me don't have enough energy to advocate for all of your kids. So we need you to come out and advocate for them because if you don't, no one's going to. Now, I did ask Anastasia if she would ever return to teaching for APS after hearing both candidates speak. She said she wants to see the changes be implemented first before fully committing to going back. APS employees will be questioning them for the rest of the hour. And that's why KOET Action 7 News.